First one we have Holiday by Lil Nas X. Um, fairly sure Lil Nas X. Yeah. We actually do enjoy his music for, for the most part. And um, yeah. it's another short little uh, single track because, you know, he's kind of known for doing like two minute songs, two and a half minute songs yeah. that are usually like. I, 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 I'm trying. I'm gonna make a new category called pop trap or trap pop. I mean, it's very, very not a new category. It's not a new category, category, but like yes. but something that for us to say sure. for audio phase because we're the only ones that matter. No one else matters in the entire music industry. Mostly because, matters, you know. This is true, uh, but it's like he's known for doing the, for kind of doing that sound, but it's a decent sound for it. So it's yeah. nothing anything special, but it's right. like monotone in the post Malone way, where like it's a good thing that works for him. Like yeah, not I could see way. that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Holiday's a really short song. It fits with like the holiday season thing. I mean, good for him mostly for like cementing a Christmas like theme song. So if he survives being just like the one hit wonder of like the 2019, 2020 era, then um, he has one of those songs that just gets played over and over again, like Mariah mm-hmm. Carey or some shit. But um, yeah, it, it's good. It's fine. It's chill. I can see this being played like at a indoor mall by a GameStop at some point <laughs> back when we have those things, but right. sure. It's, um, de- it's decent. While you're waiting in line for your vape smoking Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I saw that shit. Jesus Christ. Anyway, Um stories. Uh, next one we have Bridged by Lightwave with, uh, by Dead Mouse and Kia Sizza. When um, we reviewed her album earlier this year, uh, she's yes. an artist that I do enjoy a lot, and you know how much I love Dead Mouse. Um, first, like real proper proper single I've heard from him in a while. He's done like little like different projects, remixes, other stuff, but not like, anything like really nice and true for for a minute. And yeah, nothing nice like to true hear. to a Dead Mouse thing because exactly. he's done a lot of like Dead Mouse co-productions where he's yeah. like producing things like there's that thing with the Neptunes we talked about yes. we referenced recently but this is like I, I understand why you say this is proper because the main version of this is like a nine a minute nine dead minute mouse dead song. mouse like a sound I'm like I haven't heard him make in a, in a little while now which is I'm like this is solid my favorite things is when he partners up with female vocalists I think that's when you get the best of his sound to me yeah um, and it's a solid track she's perfect on it it's you know tried and true dead mouse so nothing like out of this world or anything but you know i've had it on repeat for the whole week so <laughs> yeah it, it's a really good track i like the extended version a lot of it's, it's like really again good. calling back to tried and true dead mouse i i do want him to push things a little bit forward but oh, the for song sure. didn't feel like that kind of stale to no. me for that it is like a true thing i think there's enough of like a surprise sort of like twist to it or like a little bit of a change up or like yeah. a callback to his more obscure ish stuff that'll keep the people like me and also you who like have listened to dead mouse a lot mm-hmm. um happy in that way exactly um, um, but yes it's very good and like on the spotify there's the radio edit the main version which we listen to and recommend you listen to yes. and the alternative mix which i actually found really nice even though it kind of copied the baseline from all i need by radiohead almost Perfectly. Oh, that's funny. I, I didn't think of that. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it kind of does to think of it. Well, wow, that's funny. Um, well, anyways, next one we've got Separate by Sage. Um, Kill, Kelsism. Kelsism. Yes, um, uh, front of the show, who I might do an audio face bonus with fairly soon. Okay. Um, John sent this end to me. He's a guy from, I want to say, like Colorado or that kind of era. If he's from Colorado, fucks with him then. Yes. It's. It's it's a, a solid trap song. It's you know what's really funny. I heard this and I'm like, this production sounds better than Future's production, <laughs> <laughs> or like almost spot on for someone who is really really small and only has like literally yeah. b- barely any listeners on Re- a month on Spotify at least. Yeah, it reminds me of Smino a lot, who's like sort of adjacent to Amine, who yeah, has yeah, that kind of like, like yeah. um. The weird hype. pitchy voice he mm-hmm. does in his rapping, kind of adjacent to Danny Brown, I guess you'd say. That's like oh, okay, figure, yeah. Like yeah. sort of figure you would know. Um, very fast paced, really interesting in his vocals. Um, yeah, I like putting in some like other newer artists that are like small and off the beat and not um, giving Spotify ransom money to appear in the algorithm easily. So um, it's good to check out these artists, and this is pretty cool. So Sage Kelzizun, that's K E L Z I Z U N. Um, pretty dope. Yeah, it's it's decent. It's his. It's something I never like. I never liked that style of voice, really per se. But it's not done in a bad way or annoying way because a lot yeah. of times when you hear that, because you can get that with um, a couple. There's a bunch of trap artists that do that. Um, that if, especially if they put auto tune in it, it just makes it horrible sounding. And we'll, we'll you know put a put a note in that. We'll get to that <laughs> later. Um, but done without auto tune, it sound it's passable to me. So and yes. within it, it's fine. And the tra- the production is like this is hilarious because trap is 
easy to make in that regard to where it really now exposed, like you can listen to that song and now you're gonna listen to some, uh, like the, um, some albums that we're going to mention in a little bit and the production's almost practically the same. So it's yeah. hilarious in that regard. Yeah, you, you can definitely like kind of start out and mm -hmm. making like trap music or like electronic music for that matter and with some decent like you know definitely like intermediate mm -hmm. moderate amounts of like watching youtube tutorials make something that was like of mainstream quality at yes. least two years ago and yeah. that's and that's like a testament to the technology that's out there so that's pretty cool um and then last one we have no safe point for Murder in the jewels it's from cyberpunk 2077 and it's like, um, what what a pretty nice mixture of like the the idea of Cyberpunk 2077, which yeah. I don't mind being like one of the most delayed things since Half Life Three. Dude, seriously, <laughs> that <laughs> game was supposed to come out like six years ago at this point. Like Jesus Christ. Yeah, and like the film and all that shit. But like yeah. the song itself also kind of fits very well with Run the Jewels' current aesthetic. Always. It is. I love the, the album. The 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 single cover is awesome. I yeah. love it. It's the so perfect much. like fit of both fit of the aesthetics. Of everything. Yeah. It is. It's a, it is a good song too. Too. It starts off. Like with a weird, with a cool effect, um, with LP, and then it goes in. It's a little bit, and then he raps like, yeah. normally, and then it, Killer Mike goes on to it. So it's kind of cool, like a little bit, a futuristic styles yeah. and stuff, and then tried and true run the jewels. But 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 yeah, even in that tried and true run the jewels way, it kind of sounds like an old school rap song in that it, it feels like it's referencing like old cartoon bits and stuff like yeah. that, like Doom and all those things. Um, so it, it's really just like a wonderful collaboration, I, I, uh, above I, I, average from what you'd expect for like something commissioned for a film. For sure, it's good. And I just have yeah, the, the, the artwork covers, uh, I love it so much. Yeah, very sick. Um, I saw some singles from Billie Eilish and Phineas this week, but we can't care because we've got rules. We've got rules, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, yeah, I saw that too. Yeah.